We're going to walk down to the Capitol. And we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. And we're probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. I can see at least half a dozen protesters scaling, literally climbing the walls of the Capitol to get up to where their fellow protesters are. In response, the police have fired tear gas. One year. So before we start this video, share, like, and subscribe. That's right, share, like, and subscribe. I'm not like other YouTubers, I'm different. Okay, folks, we know what today is, January 6th dark day in history of the united states people ran in the capital trump said what he said everybody's glorifying it like a holiday biden's talking kamala harris is talking sounding stupid times two people on social media talking about it people acting like that their their whole lives are shaking up because some idiots ran in the building but particularly I'll say it like this. Journalistically, I went. I went there. Yes, folks. I was there. So send this video to the FBI. I don't care. It wasn't what the news tried to portray it to be. Yes, yeah, some idiots went inside, but by and large, people were just out there networking and talking and hoping that, you know, the people that we elect in that building would have our best interests at heart. And, you know, just even ask questions. I think people would have understood more if you went in there and asked questions. But what kills me about this day is, you know how social media is. Everybody wants their two cents worth of information and give out their one cent worth of facts. And what's really depressing is I'm seeing black people out here talking about January 6th like they were there. Now, granted, yes, there were a few black people such as myself out there. But a lot of these posts that I've been seeing about January 6th, a lot of people just don't even know what happened that day. But they fix their mouth to try to quote unquote give their first hand account about it or their opinion and it just sounds foolish like I said if you weren't there you don't know what transpired were there idiots that went in the building of course we saw the tapes but these are the same people that dismissed the narrative that the Capitol Police were helping but you know, that's another subject for another day. This is more about black folks acting like this somehow involves us. For the contingent of black people, the majority, this has nothing to do with you. And for you to talk, it, it just further makes us look bad as a group. We have other problems we need to worry about. I'll even put one up in the right hand corner of this video. Well, left hand, depending on how you want to view it. But folks, we have bigger fish to fry than a day of white supremacy versus white supremacy having temper tantrums. Y'all worried about what majority of white people did that day. When honestly, they're the ones crying about it. But here we go again. We have the contingent of black people on social media. We have the contingent of black people on film like Abby Phillip with this the most famous Malcolm X line, what's the matter boss, we sick? 
We's eating good. We's got some nice clothes. Why would you want to be included in this? I'm just trying to figure it out. It makes no sense. There were maybe a handful of black people inside that building, including BLM, but by and large, we should have just laughed at and said, you know what? There's some idiots outside. They, they got caught. All right, let's move on. There's other things. No, everybody got to have an opinion. And it, it, I understand what pages like pro black, un, pro, sorry, pro black thought underscore three and all these other pro black pages all over the Internet say when it concerns things with this country and people that are black want to come out and insert themselves into it. It's just wasted energy. Everybody wants to be included in our problems. We don't have enough energy for that to try to weed out who's real and who's not, who's fake and who's not. But then when we have it, when we watch external problems from other groups that have nothing to do with us, we have too many people that still want to act like, hey, let me go be part of it. Let me go jump in that circle. And then when it goes left, then then they expect sympathy. That's not the way, folks. So in closing, again, I'll say this. January 6th, the fact that we're watching everybody glorify it like a holiday is bad. And it's especially worse when you see your own people doing it. We got to do better, folks. We got to do better. Take care. Stay safe. I'm out.